Lord. Listen, I, I got a quick word I want to share with y'all, and I want to. I'm coming out of the the the, uh, the book of Genesis as, as I go always go through the Bible, but I want to share something with you. And I, you know, you guys know how I talk about Joseph a lot, and I want you to see something with Joseph. Is Joseph went from his father's house to a pit by his brothers. Joseph went from a pit to the Ishmaelites. He was passed on by his brothers. The Ishmaelites took Joseph, passed him on to the Egyptians. And the Egyptian Potiphar passed him on to the jailer. I, I need you to see this because we, we always have a tendency. What happened to Joseph? The devil was out to do one thing. I need y'all to catch this. I need you to, 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 to walk with me for a moment. His whole objective was to breed distrust. Watch this. If I put my trust in my family members and my family members were willing to do what Joseph's brothers did to him, it breeds distrust. When the brothers picked him out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites, it breeded distrust. When the Ishmaelites sold him to the Egyptians, he had nobody to trust. And when Potiphar tossed him into the prison house, there was just nobody to trust. I want you to see that at every step of his journey, fleshly, there was possibly things being produced in him as he revealed in the end when he was in the jailhouse he began to say that I was kidnapped from my family and I did nothing to get here to this prison house. His brothers betrayed him, broke the trust. He was fighting to be free from the brothers and the Ishmaelites took him. Oh, man. And the Ishmaelites sold him to Potiphar and Potiphar's wife betrayed him and he ends up in a prison. I need you to see this because this has been going on since we were children. The whole objective, and I don't know who I'm talking to, I'm probably talking to every last one of us. The whole objective that the devil was after since we were children was to breed distrust in our lives. He needs us to breed distrust because anytime I can get you such in a place that by the time you connect to God, you don't wanna trust nobody. The very same thing that he did to Eve is he got her to distrust what God was telling her. Come on, somebody. I, I need you to catch this. So by the time Satan got a hold, the serpent got a hold of Eve, she had already fallen into a place where she distrusted God. And then she put it on her husband. What am I saying to you? The whole purpose, we got to look at this from a spiritual standpoint. The whole purpose is that the devil wants to breed distrust all throughout our lives in order to get us to distrust God. Because by the time we get there, we'll be so full of distrust that we just can't believe God for anything. But I want you to notice what Joseph did. The most awesome thing about Joseph during this whole story or his life was that even though he was being betrayed, he never took his eyes off God. Oh, come on, somebody. I need you to catch this. The thing that kept him was that he kept his eyes on God, even though they were causing him to come to a place where not to trust people. But he didn't care what people did. Come on, somebody. I'm going somewhere. He didn't care what people did because he put his trust in God. And so whatever you do, doesn't really make a difference because I'm not putting my trust in you. I'm putting my trust in God. So even when the brother sold him and he was going through that moment, then he went sold off to the Ishmaelites. And then he got over to most people who have been bred with that much distrust, give up on life. They give up on people. They don't want to do nothing. Joseph got down into Egypt and began to work. 
and was raised up as the number one person in Potiphar's house. And still, Potiphar's wife betrayed him, lied on him. And he went into the prison house and still kept working. There was only one thing that was keeping him, his trust in God. Listen to me. I don't know how bad you've been hurt. I don't know how long we've been in places where we just don't trust people. But when we put in a, we come to a place where we begin to trust God, what people do to us won't matter. Why? Because throughout the whole time, I need you to see this. Guess who was in control? Not the people who were betraying you. Not the devil, because the devil thought he had you bound with distrust. But the whole time, God was using the distrust issues to get you to the place where he needed you to be. And said, you can trust me. And when I'm ready and I bring them back, you can put your trust in them too. <laughs> Praise God, amen.